What's up everyone, so glad to have you guys here. Let's get right into it. Let's see how I use OneNote to engage my students. So I use OneNote as my digital notebook for all 208 of my students. I have 10 notebooks in which I can go into their notebooks and I can see everything my students do. So across my 10 classes, if I wanna see how one of my students is doing, all I have to do is go into the lesson and I can see exactly what work they've done. Now, the benefit of using OneNote is you can have multi-step activities where if you design a lesson the way that I do, which I'll show you guys how to do in a little bit, you can say, okay guys, on Monday, I want you guys to do steps one through three, Tuesday four through seven, and so on. So you can break it up where you have one longer lesson where they can check off how they work and as they go. Now, as you notice over here, that students are able to have handwriting if they have styluses, as this is compatible on iPad, uh, on laptop, on Chromebook, whatever device you want to use, there's OneNote for every platform. So there's typing, there's handwriting, and you can combine those different facets so that students get engaged. Now, one thing that I think is very important is handwriting is critical. And I know a lot of people like to write stuff on pencil and paper, but this is the best of both worlds. And there's a lot of benefits about inking, handwriting on a stylus, on an iPad, or a, a Microsoft device, a Surface, that really increases engagement with the activity. So it's good to combine both typing and handwriting for this type of stuff. So I'm gonna get right into right now how I design these lessons for my students and how I can see all of their notes so I know exactly where they are at. So uh, to design one of these lessons, I'm gonna take you guys into, first of all, just as a note, I use a class notebook. That's how I'm able to see all of my students' work. Without it being a class notebook, I would only be able to see my section. So in a class notebook, what I like to do to design the lessons, I create all of my lessons in a separate notebook than the ones I push it out to the students. And when I'm creating something, I'll create a section. I'll create one over here for us right now. And this is just gonna be an example of how I create my template. And when I'm creating a template for a student's lessons, what I like to do is I like to work in tables. So to create the template, the first thing that I like to do is I'll insert a table over here and I'll do a two by one table over here. And the first part of the table is where I'm gonna have steps being done. And then the second part is gonna be the instructions on what the students are supposed to do. And I like to stretch this out so I have a lot of different space for the students to work over here. And I personally like to make this stand out a little bit, so I'm gonna increase the size, I'm gonna bold it, and I'm gonna change this to my favorite font, Rockwell, for my lesson over here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cell shade this, just gray, to make it stand out a little bit. And then I'm gonna insert a row below. You can either on a Mac hold down Command and Return, which adds another row, or you just go to the Table tab and go to Insert Below, and I'm gonna uncolorize this one over here. So no color, white color over here. And then for the step, I'm gonna include step number one and I'm gonna include some more rows over here where you can include multiple steps. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for the uh, checkbox, the students are able to check off as they complete it, you can go into home and there's a lot of different tags that are able to be used. I just like the to do tab because you can check it on and off for when you've completed it. So I'm gonna include the to-do on each of my steps over here for the lesson that I am uh, showing you guys. And then the nice thing about OneNote over here is you can create a lot of tables inside of tables to help you organize your work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, for the first step, say, okay, so the task in this one is watch the following video and then summarize what you learned below. So what happens is I like to insert a table inside that table and then in this table over here I can insert either like a video or I can put some sort of uh, reading for the students to do which I'll show you guys in one second over here so if I hop over to a lesson like this one over here um, I have two videos over here for the students to watch then I have uh, article that I've linked, a hyperlink over here. They're gonna read this article and then they're gonna record the questions they have while reading the article. And I'm showing them how you can use Control F over here, the find tool, where if I was on this article, I'm asking them within this lesson to use this to find the answer more efficiently than just reading the way that they would on pencil and paper. So why is curiosity essential according to the article? Here's the article, use, oh, that's the video that I made for the article, sorry. The article is uh, right over here. And then on the article over here, about 
CQ, e, IQ, EQ, they do control F and they type curiosity, and they, or they type in essential, and they can find why curiosity is essential. So it's using the digital nature of a notebook to help get them answers more efficiently, which also means that they spend more time really focusing in on what they're learning as opposed to spending time looking through stuff. And by the way, that's important. I just think this is really cool as a digital tool for the students to use. So this is kind of how I designed the lesson where they have the steps over here and they have the instructions over here. Sometimes I'll even just put screenshots of an article straight inside here and ask them to summarize what they read. I'll make my own YouTube videos and they get embedded inside of OneNote, which is really nice. You don't have to go to YouTube with all the distractions off to the right hand side. It's just embedded straight in here. And all you have to do to put a video in is you just have to take the link and then you uh, paste that link inside and the video will just pop up. So it's so easy to insert a video over here. So I'm gonna go back to the example that we were working on over here. So let's say I wanted the students to watch this video. I can put the link over here and then you notice that there's no space in this box. All you have to do is you have to hit, um, let's say, uh, you insert a table below. So I'm gonna do command enter to add another table and then you can hit click delete to get below so you can type below. So then where the students answer the questions, I like as a teacher to make it crystal clear where the answers are supposed to be. So I will insert a one by one table and I will make it purple. So the students know that they put their answers in a purple table. Why purple? I like purple. So <laughs> no really answer. And then I'll just say over here, task, summarize what you learned in the following video. So as a teacher, when the students are done with the assignment, um, we as a district use Schoology, so I'll have the students share this all over to Schoology so I grade it there, but you honestly can go straight into the notebook and see their notes and you can just go through and check by the day that you have it done. Also, if you use Microsoft Teams, you can have them submit it there or Google Classroom. There's plenty of different ways you can take this, share this, and send a copy of the page to it so that it, you can send this wherever you uh, have your teaching environment. So. This is one example of how to kind of have them type and you just have access to everything they write, which is just so awesome. So that is a little bit about how I use OneNote, how I create a lesson over here and the template that I use to do so. And if you want to see more, just let me know. So this is just a real quick short video on how I use OneNote to engage my students. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I would love to make more videos about OneNote, how I use it to engage my students to create interactive lessons that encourage questions and play. I would love to hear it. So if you like this video and you want more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.